All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Snakewood. This town is so drenched with salt water that no zombies can even come close. We're totally safe. I don't feel like that's safe. Ah, oh, yes, the enemy of zombies. Salt and water combined, they are doubly effective. What happens if they get hit with a big wave? My grandfather is blind, but he can still read using Braille. Isn't it amazing? Yo, I'm Professor Birch's biggest fan. Want to hear about his amazing life story? No. Liar, you do real you do really. You just don't want to admit it. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> so upset. It's okay. Professor Birch sucks, trust me, I know. Yes, sure. Alright, listen up. A few years ago, Professor Birch went on three hazardous expeditions in uncharted territory. The ivory ruins, the muddy tomb, and the heated cave. Wait, what? This version's this version of the Reggie Caves. I felt like that, but it felt wrong. I mean, it doesn't feel wrong. It just doesn't feel right for Birch to go there. <laughs> there, he found three never-before-described Pokemon and brought them safely back to Pallet. Of course, he gave two of them to deserving young trainers. The last one is part of his most famous research project product project actually it was a mix between the words product and project let's visit everyone forcefully entering their homes a sky old man a sky old man oh that's the woman that says Rayquaza woman girl yeah no one believes me I saw the old man fly overhead trailing shadows in his wake Cynix. Wait, is it actually Cynix? Yes. People keep reporting an old man flying over Hoenn. How can an old man fly? By flapping his wings. <laughs> Wildcat. <laughs> That's right, you don't remember Wildcat, do you? The, from Batman the Brave and the Bold? Oh, I'm sorry, he's everywhere, but also Wooper! Whoop loop de loop. Whoop loop de doop. Whoop loop de doop. Whoop loop de doop. Oh no. <clears throat> I am the Pokemon fan club's most important person, the chairman's younger brother. I'm here enjoying my vacation with my Pokemon. Yes, indeed. Ah, your Pokemon. It clearly likes you very much. A Pokemon that adoring deserves, a, deserves an adorable TM like this. <laughs> you butchered that so much. I mean, I got four words right in the wrong place, but you know what? Otherwise, the sentence was fine. I got TM27, which is return. If a Pokemon likes you a lot, return's power is enhanced. If it doesn't like you, frustration's power goes up. That's frustrating. But I guess it all returns to you in the end. Mom's dead! <laughs> I like that joke a little too much, actually. <laughs> what are you going to teach return to? <laughs> I can't. It knows 4 AGMs. Moving on. Hombeast. It has an incredibly high physical attack. However, it has been pretty much unable to use it just due to poor move learn moves that it learns. Shouldn't you get rid of Fisher? Yeah, let me actually, let me make doubly sure. Yeah, let me, let me, let me make doubly sure before I teach anyone anything that what I'm saying is correct. Yeah, that attack is pretty high. Ooh. Oh. Wait, you have a ribbon? For beating the Elite Four. Oh, that's right. Uh, Hombeast is the only one left out right now. Hombeast and Aerodactyl. Oh, I'm sorry. I could teach that to Breloom, but Breloom has already has two really powerful moves. And See, also, Leech Seed is kind of a must. Yeah, Leech Seed is a must, and Stun Spore I'm keeping there. So, yeah, the, why are you, why, why are your special defense? Why? Holy crap, that's really low. Don't All right. burn me. I'm, j I'm j I have a low melting point. I'm made of mercury. 
All right, yeah, that's definitely going on Hombies. Fisher is disappearing from our team at last. Actually, let's also check Hombies' friendship with us. It's bound to like me a lot. Oh yes, in about seven or so days, I should be getting a good TM or two. You should come see me then. I'll give you a suitable TM Pokemon. <laughs> you die inside as you realize that you'll not get them. Well, that requires I leave the game running for seven days. You're not gonna do that. Hell no, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> what? Nothing. All right, we're getting rid of Fisher. All right, Hombies learned return. It's all coming back to you. All right, let's try and teach Ice Punch to someone. Let's see if anyone can learn it, other than Bree the Nope. <laughs> Sludge Bomb? We have a bunch of these TMs piled up, so we're gonna try our best to get these off of us now. That's really good for you, Cool Shark, actually, but you're terrible. And poison is physical in this generation. It's physical is better than it's special. Yes, but I'm honestly planning on getting rid of Quill Shark. I know it's sad. Quill Shark has been with us through so much of the journey, but it's really not worth it. And I can grind up another Pokemon off screen. Weighing down our team, disappointing us left and right. Ah, uh, the memories. 81 accuracy. That really hurts me. Ah. Uh, all right, we're getting rid of Discharge and we're replacing it with Sludge Bomb, which is significantly more powerful. It doesn't have a stab bonus, but it gives us better coverage. Fire Blast? Uh, is it, uh, I forgot, how accurate is it in this game? It says if you go on the... It says if you try to teach it to something. I think it's 85. No, uh, Aerodact. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's 85, but Aerodactyl, you are not learning this. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Can you just imagine, though? You see, you see a pterosaur <laughs> of ancient times, and it goes and blasts fire out of its face. In an X shape? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Zigzagoon so. can learn Shadow Ball. I'm also going to teach this to X32. And I'm getting rid of Hyper Beam because it's ridiculously powerful, but it leaves us way too vulnerable. And Shadow Ball, it's just better because it gives us more coverage and nothing is really weak to normal. Uh, it never, I never understood, really. I don't understand why Shadow Ball lowers special defense when it's physical attacking when it first shows up. I, you keep mentioning this literally every time it comes up. Still hurts me inside. Well, that's tough. You're gonna have to deal with it. I'm gonna be bringing Babu back into the team. Yes! Specifically because Quill Shark is not Garbage. really... Yeah. All right. This is, this is inventory management the episode. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to my special episode of uh, Pokemon Snakewood. Here we explored the joys of, of moving around move sets and items. Oh God, where'd Babu go? Oh, Rock a Lobster. Hard disk solo. Wow, those are some good stats. But fortunately, our orange has good stats too. If you can find it. Oh, there it is. Nope, nope, down, yep. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm dumb and blind. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty normal, though. Our orange has the best special attack you could possibly imagine, and it can learn Fire Blast. Yee!
Also, what's the point of Spiritomb? Actually, let's look at its stats really quick. Let's show you guys. Uh, it's a great wall, but that's all it's good for. And before the physical special split, it's not good for much physical attacking or special attacking at all. It benefits nothing. And it's completely average for its level. Let's see its moves. Shadow Punch, Bright Idea, Memento, Weather Ball. <laughs> it can learn that. I'm just surprised to see it. Also, let's look at Termers. See the sprite there? Hmm. <laughs> Mushroom. Let's look at Termers' stats. Stupid. <laughs> it's speed. It's speed. Is its only downside. Look at this thing. It can take a few physical hits, too. What's it moves again? What's it moves? Nightmare, Hypnosis, Recovery, and Focus Energy. It has a terrible learn set. I mean, terrible move set. But by breeding it, you actually get Face Leech. So do with that what you will. It's stupidly speedy and stupidly powerful with physical attack, but that's it. And it has no defenses. Yeah, it has no defenses and no other stats. Okay. You. I need a moonstone. Alright. Fire blast. Come on, Babu. Let's get rid of Willow Wisp. Flame Wheel. Yes, it has Flame Wheel. Do you not remember that? Yeah, no, I was suggesting getting rid of Flame Wheel instead. All right. Can Babu learn Ice Punch? I hope not. And get punched by an orange? I hope not. I'm not gonna teach it Ice Punch. I hoped it could learn Ice Beam, but it cannot. Let's see if you can learn Blizzard. Haha! -ha, it can't. Why can... Why can Zigzagoon learn Blizzard? Why can't... It's an orange! Why can't it learn Giga Drain? <laughs> we can also teach it Toxic instead of Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, that would be better. Which was my overall goal. It was irrelevant which move got ri was gotten rid of first. All right, and it should be able to learn discharge. Oh no, it feels like it should. Admire the number of moves that Zigzagoon can learn. That's why it's a great HM slave. It's like Bidoof. Remember that Chugga Connery named his Zigzagoon Slavenator. Kit. It can learn rock too? Yes. I'm just tired. No, the answer is no. Rock Tomb is a low power move, right? Oh, yeah, it is. But. Eh, there's nothing really good Hombies can learn. That bothers me. Huh. Could teach it Grass Whistle. Kick! Doesn't that have like a 55 hit rate or something? I don't know what Grass Whistle has actually. Let's look at Grass Whistle. Sixty-five. Yeah, let's not learn that. Let's not get it learnt. Oh, I meant move items. I was like, wait, what am I? In, what am I doing in this box? Item storage, deposit item, 
Let's get rid of Soma. But not the other one. I, he's my favorite main character in that series. Sorry, I was distracted by the meaty bell. It's just uh, the snacking of a meatball with every time it rings. What does the arcane key do? We, it was supposed to be in that ship, but you know clipped. Yeah, but I used all the doors anyways. So where does the arcane key go? I don't know. You should know. I don't know everything. You should. All right, let's see. Do we have anything in here that's good? I don't wanna use that. Do we have anything in here that's good for uh, our orangey? The orange. No. Thank you for yelling that right in my ear and You're not into the microphone. Oh my God. You're welcome. I like how you turn to face me instead of facing the microphone. <laughs> chicka wa, chicka wa, chicka wa, chicka wa. All right, get the meaty bell. Tasty. How does it ring it? Wham! It slams its head on it. There's people I know in real life that do that. I heard of Iso. I heard that Iso is always hungry. Iso. Iso. Maybe this snack w would be good for him. Obtained the Chikawa. I feel like the getting the thing was pointless. Hmm, in my pot I have baby's hands. The face looks expensive. Peered inside, but it was empty. You uh, lied! Huh? 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 She's crazy. Baby hands. My name is Aeon Clock. I was hoping to set up a branch of my company in this region, but it doesn't seem a viable proposition right now. These were the product I'd be selling, but never mind. You may take them. Air tracks? What? Air tracks in the key Adam's pocket. Those air tracks will let you perform tricks, such as spinning or crossing over rails. What do they look like? Let's see. Use. You can't do that here. <laughs> They're like the, uh, the, uh... Acrobike, I know. But I wanted to know what it looked like. Too bad. This, this log town is a strict no-bike zone. I wonder why. Hey there, everybody. This is going to be a weird kind of episode transition, but this is kind of an afterthought. Because we kind of, we, we just went into the gym battle. So I don't want the episode to be an hour and 10 minutes long for you guys. So we're st stopping this one in about 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, just, the next episode's gonna be in about two days. Just be patient. I'm sorry. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. If you like my stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Check my Patreon, Coffee, and Twitter in the description if you want to support my channel. And as I said, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.